Hey guys, this is my second video I'm making today. The first one I made was kind of messed up. Because um, I was paying more attention to the dog. Uh, but anyway, this is my 1977 Buick Electra 225 Limited limousine. As I said before, they only made like 100 of these. And uh, I already started it this morning. If you watched the first video, I'm going to start it again. Should have enough gas. Yep. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Like I said, there is uh, 47,946 miles on here. This is a tachometer I put in here. Spent $60 on it. I didn't hook any of the other gauges up that go to it. But it does work. And, uh,. This is the Pioneer aftermarket CD player that I put in here. It does work. I have a remote for it. Turn it up. It makes it easier to be sure your child's car seat is installed. Almost anything that they are facing. You can call 24... You play CDs and everything. Um, I added this water temperature gauge because it didn't have one. All I had was a, a temperature light. And it had an overheating problem a while ago because the water pump went out. But the water pump is replaced. And it has had no, no other problems. Uh, it has power locks and power windows and all that. Damn, it's cold. Um, there's a phone back there. I don't know if you can really see it. But there, it's not hooked up right now. And it's got rope lights in the back window. And there's blue LED lights above the doors. That's the back seat. The the two back doors do open, and these two middle doors open. Plus, you have this seat here that faces towards the back. And uh, these floor mats don't really go with it, but I put them in here just because I needed floor mats. Uh, let's go check out the engine. As you can tell, it's not very loud. It's actually quite quiet. Now on the sticker, it says uh, 403 cubic inch, but that's not true because the, the original owner of this had that engine taken out, had an Oldsmobile 455 and didn't put it in here. I know on the Craigslist it says that it's a 7.4, but I was wrong on that. It's a 7.5. And it has the Quadrajet four barrel carburetor. The water pump, the water pump has surface rust on it. I'm not sure why. I painted over the the master cylinder because the. Uh, it had surface rust over that too, so I just painted over it. Battery's in fairly good condition. And uh, the tires are decent, they have good tread on them. 
This tire was uh, the original tire blew out, so I had to get a different tire. So this one does not match the other three, but it works just fine. And like I said on the other video, it does smoke quite a bit until it warms up, and then it runs fine. And uh, let's see here. Let me open the back door. I took the fuse out of the power locks because I was doing some work on the interior lights. But anyway, there is some tears on the bottom of the seats. Well, the, just this one on the bottom of this seat because I had lights in there. That was kind of stupid. But this is the seat that faces the back window. And this is the back seat. It has the rear air and heat, like I said. And there's the phone right there. It has ashtrays in the back with lighters. Turn the lights on. The opera lights in the back work. All the front lights work. Opera lights. Back lights. Open the trunk here. These are the visors. As you can see, this one broke. Well, they both broke, but I duct taped this one and tried to fix it, and it wasn't so good. And if you can see back there, that's the AC and heat unit. Plus, this trunk is pretty big. But I have a lot of shit in it. And it's got the vinyl top, the tinted windows, 5%. You can't see in. You can barely see out. There is a small minor crack right here on the door, the driver's door panel. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for looking.